Hello guys, welcome back to my kitchen and today we are going to be making burgers and chips. So, you might remember my first ever video was in fact burgers and chips. So, you might think, well, Drew, why are you doing that again? Basically, what I've done is I've redeveloped the recipe from scratch and yeah, improved it with everything else I've learned. So anyway, we'll roll the intro and we'll get start by making the chips. Right, so the first, right, the first thing we're going to start off with is peeling the potatoes and then chopping them. So first of all, we're just going to quickly, oh, which is not the tripod, just peel them. So, yeah, just basically just peel, always peel towards you, because that's so you don't become a massive mess everywhere. So, I'll come back once these are peeled. Right, so now that, right, so now that our potatoes are peeled, we're now just going to chop them into battens. So, basically what you need to do is just chop down. Like this, just basically chop it some big sheets of potato. Now it will get stuck to your knife for you, but that's just the nature of it. And when you get to the end of it like this, you just need to sort of be careful. There you are. So now what you're going to do is take this and just chop them across like that. So then you get sort of chips like this, so yeah. So let's see we're just doing this over and over again. Right, so I'll we'll come back once these are all chopped. Right, now what we're going to do is we're just going to pat them dry to remove all the excess starch. Just sort of like take a bunch, sort of pat them. And then we'll pop them on a baking tray. Basically, the reason why we're drying them is it helps to get them crispier. We are now going to, they're on a bake, I'm going to put them on a baking tray, but we're going to make sure we spread them out, because if we don't spread them out, they'll not even cook. So I'll get them as spread as you can. So there you go, a bit like this, there you go. Now it doesn't matter if they're like too even, because most of the Packet chips are pretty uneven anyways, so yeah. Me now what we're going to do is drizzle them with oil. That's probably a bit enough. Now what you'll do is just sort of toss them to make sure everything's evenly coated. Most of even the coatings and oil, like this, and they're still all spread out. Just redoing it like this. There you go. Then you're going to cook them for 30 to 40 minutes, depending on how thick or thin they are. But oh wait a minute before we do that, we bit of salt. And bung them down for about 30 to 40 minutes. Of course, if you've got air fryer. That's even better. These will only take about 40 minutes in an air fryer. And in a deep fryer, it's probably going to take about 20, if that. So, I'm going to put these in the oven, and we'll get on to making our burger pan. Right, before we start actually making the patty, we've got to slice an onion, because we need to put this in our burger. So, first thing you want to do with it is half it. It's a really hard onion, this one. Have it down the middle, where there it is, so you've got a root going all the way through. Then, once you've done that, chop that off over a bit at the top. Put that in your waste bowl. Then just peel it. 
Now when you're peeling it, you want to remove the skin and the first layer of onion because the first layer of onion is dead rubbery and it will and plus removing it will just make everything easier to chop so just remove the first layer of onion I'll come back to you when I've got these two halves of onion Now we've got our two halves of onion peeled so now we are going to dice them so just rid this little bit of onion here off my board Make sure your board's clean because you do not want any onion skin up here in your thing. So we're going to start by making an incision into there, and another incision below it. This, is, this will just help it break into a nice dice. So now what we're going to do is, as you can see, we've got incisions. We've not gone all the way through because that will help a uh, thingy the onion. Support it as you're chopping it, and, and it hopefully will not fall apart. Sometimes it does. So, first of all, we're then just going to chop down. I'm just going to chop down like this. Don't worry if it falls apart, you just lift it back in together. It's not bother at all. And then, what you do is go across. And then it will just fall into a dice. Right, well, obviously, fall to bits as you do that. So, what you're going to do then is the bits that haven't fallen into dice, it's a fair wee bit because these, these are the bits that have fallen apart. Just got to then swipe over it with a knife again. Just make sure that everything is finely chopped. You don't even worry about it. Right, you want it fairly fine. But don't worry if you can't get it as fine as I am. Don't worry if you can't get it too fine. So anyway, I'll finish dicing this, dice the other half, then we'll get on to actually dealing with the meat. Right guys, so we're now just going to be dealing with our meat, also known as making the patties. So I've only got a wee bit of going to be fair because I'm only making this for myself. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in our breadcrumbs. The reason why we're adding in our breadcrumbs is so it helps the burger sort of bind together and it also helps it stay juicy. So sort of knead it in like a dough type of thing. I think I put a wee bit too much in. So I'll come back when this is all that that's mostly all mixed in, we're now going to add in our onions. Sorry. Right, to form the patties, I've basically discovered this really cool gadget, it's a burger press, so we're going to be using that to form our patties. So all you really, oh, how this gadget works is you just need to grab a bit of meat. Just about all of it, the meat we normally use. Make a burger patty. Then I'm going to add some of my excess onions because nothing goes to waste here. I'm going to get all this so, so, so stuff off your hands. That's how you wrap there. And then what you do is you just press it. And there you are. That's how you do it. And then, we're just going to place it onto our thing, onto a little bit of baking paper of source. Then that's you, sorted. Then we'll just repeat this for the same and then we'll come back when it's time to cook them. Right, so guys, it's time to take the cook our burgers. So the first thing we're going to do is sear our burgers, so we'll do that now. Right, so all we're doing is we're just going to get a really good colour on all these sides. Right, so as I was saying, 
basically it will just be a really good colour on all sides of this burger. And then, we're not going to worry about being cooked through because we're going to transfer it to the to finish the cooking process. Right, so guys, as you can see, these have got somewhat of a nice colour. We'll get even more colour when they're in them, but, you know, still. So as you can see, these are still raw. So we're going to put them in the oven for about 15 minutes. It really just depends on how thick your burgers are. So, we'll come back when these are ready and it's time to present. Right, there we are guys, we've got our chips, which are nice, perf which are perfectly cooked, as you can see they're crispy. Well, you can't see, but as you can see they're sort of crispy, they've got a really nice colour. Well seasoned, absolutely delicious. Got a burger, a nice brioche bun. So yeah, anyways, thanks so much for watching this video, please like and of course subscribe for more videos similar to this one. And don't forget, I've also got my website where the recipe is linked down below. And don't forget to join my forum if you want to suggest any recipe ideas. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.